Miss Sabolski, super excited to be here today because we're great. Um, to start us off, some new news for you. We've got a very special video clip from somebody who is very far away. Um, so John, who was here a couple weeks ago, you know, who had the big, we had the big assembly. He like took the frying pan and like rolled it up and like ripped the book in half. Yeah, no, he um, went, abroad, far away, he'll tell you about it. Um, but he wanted to say hi to you guys. So go ahead, watch this clip. He's saying hi to you, enjoy it. Hey, this is John Pritikin. I'm here in Haifa on Mount Carmel. And I just got done doing school with some here, but you guys are still in my heart. I just want to remind you, remember, don't ever give up. Be careful how we talk to each other. And you guys are so special. Thanks again for, for being so nice to me. I love you, I believe you. Remember, I'm proud of you. You guys are amazing. Thanks, John. That was great. He's awesome. He's so good. Okay, so this episode, uh, I want to dedicate to our seniors, our class of 2023. And I was, I was telling Father Logue about this, and he's like, wait, I want to be on that episode. Just like that, because you know that's exactly what he looks like. And I was like, Father Logue, I can't have you in every episode, but fine, you can come in this one. Without further ado, Father Logue's with us. Welcome to the show, Father Logue. Thanks, sorry to crash your episode here. It's but... fine, it's not like you have your own show or anything. You just can't get enough of the camera, right. so you have to join mine. It's pretty good. Yeah, mine is. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, my, well. Sh my show's pretty good. Yours is uh, mid, mm. at best. Go watch mine to, to no, see. No, you don't have to. <laughs> We're counting views. Help me with my views, please. <laughs> Anyways, enough about us. Class of 2023. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. We were kind of just talking about Class of 2023 and how special you guys are. And just kind of wanted to dedicate this show to you guys which made us kind of start thinking about our high school experiences. So, Father Logue, what was your thoughts as you were getting ready to graduate high school? What was that like 25 years ago now? Uh, close, yeah. close. <laughs> um, uh, I was actually 13. Um, oh, okay. I was ready to go. Really? Um, yeah, when I got to the end, I, was, I couldn't wait to get out of there. I was kind of sick of high school. Um, <laughs> I wanted to move on to college, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just didn't want to be at high school. Anymore. No, not not at all. Well, and that's really funny because I did not want to leave high school. I, I mean, I went to Linkster Catholic, um, didn't graduate 13 years ago. Ugh. I don't know, I feel like I just had such a great group of friends and like the activities I was involved in. I finally was like, I finally felt like I got a grasp on the activities that I was involved with um, and I just, I loved my teachers, I loved my classes, and I was just like, no, I I don't wanna go. Like, I don't wanna leave everybody. So maybe that's why I came back and now I'm working here. I don't know, I am missing my friends though. They're not here with me, so yeah. Yeah, interesting, the different, Yeah. that you just are like, uh-uh, I'm out. I enjoyed it, I had good friends, I was involved in a lot of good stuff, especially my senior year. Okay. Um, I was involved in more activities and really enjoyed it, um, but still, I was I was done. <laughs> I was ready to move on. You're like, um, four years, let's get out of here. That's it, that's okay. it. Okay, so I feel like some of you seniors, maybe you'll be feeling as Father Logan, you're like, yeah, it was, it was a good time, but like, when's graduation? How many days left? I'm out. <laughs> or you might be like me, that's like, Wait, I'm not ready. Should I fail something so I come back another year? I did not, I did not end up failing anything. I did move on with my life, no worries, no worries. But it's also funny to think about like what like my concerns and worries were at the end of senior year. I feel like one of the things that I was like most concerned for, like especially like I was going to college, I went to DeSales University. I was so worried about not getting up in time for class. Like that I was gonna miss my alarm, I wasn't gonna make it to class. And like, it's so weird because like, in high school, I always got up on my own. Like I didn't depend on my parents to like, 
Noelle, get out of bed. Like I had my alarm, I got up when I did, but like for some reason that was such a concern for me. And you know, I was thinking about it a little bit more and I was like, why Why was I so worried? Because I like I didn't have anybody to be like, if I miss my alarm, be like, hey, like you're gonna miss class or something. Um, you're losing some of that safety net that you have. Yeah, yeah, home. no, exactly, that's, that safety net. And I think that's one of the big things kind of when you leave for college is like, the safety net you've had your entire life, um, your parents, your siblings. I mean, Lancaster Catholic, you know, we are a safety net in its own way. You kind of, like a lot of that falls out from underneath you. I remember going to college and I knew one other person in my class and like I didn't know any upperclassmen. I walked in, I was like, I, I like kind of talked to the girl when we were in high school together, but like we became best friends that first month of school until we were able to make other friends. I mean, I think for myself, what I realized is that, A, I had a really great safety net when I went to Lancaster Catholic and how great it was to have my parents, um, my siblings, Lancaster Catholic, my friends supporting me. And as I went away, I realized how to build a safety net um, by just getting to know people, talking to people. And I'm, I didn't get to build it right away, but like as I went on, what I started freshman year continued. But then also, what was really important for me was to keep in touch with my safety net back home. Um, because when things went down, like my parents were still there for me. You know, my friends, I still wanted to talk to them. I still wanted to chat with them. So I think as we're leaving Lancaster Catholic, to really think about that safety net and to how can you form that safety net as you go away so that when your alarm doesn't go off and you might miss class, you, like someone's there to help you out so that you don't have to worry about that. I remember being worried not as much about the safety net, but uh, as excited as I, as I was to go, um, I was kind of nervous about the choices I'd made uh, in terms of my future because mm. left to my own devices, I wanted to go study engineering and instead I felt called to go to seminary where my major was going to be philosophy. <laughs> and it was sort of like, this is really far away <laughs> from mechanical engineering, my comfort zone. Yeah. philosophy. <laughs> Very different. Um, and you know, some of my friends, like uh, close friends who had been with me through not only our fun times, but in class too. Friends who went to all the physics classes and math classes with me, they're going off to do engineering without a doubt in their mind, and here I am jumping into philosophy, and so on. Yeah. There's that question of, is this the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? Um, and I really had to learn to just trust God and say, all right, this, based on everything I know and based on where I am right now, I think this is where God wants me to be. Um, and if that's not where I'm gonna end up in the end, then I know he'll take care of me and that he has a plan laid out, but for now, this is the right path. Yeah, and I think a lot of students going to college or maybe taking a gap year or going right into the workforce, you're like, is this like what I'm supposed to do? Um, like I even remember my senior year of high school when people were like, oh, what are you gonna major in? I say, one of everything so I can do anything. Cause I, I was like, I don't know what I wanna do. But like, I, I think that's a big struggle for a lot of our seniors. And I think you're so right to remember that God has a plan and you have to let him work. And like, I, sometimes my biggest prayer is, God, if you don't want this, make it so clear or make it impossible for me to do this so that I can do what you want. And I, like, I mean, it's kind of like an aggressive prayer, but I think it's a really good prayer too. Uh, it is good. And, and I remember in seminary too, what helped in my case was seeing all these guys from all different backgrounds, all different walks of life, guys who had gone out and had a career, guys who had done this, we had, uh, a guy who was a car mechanic, a guy who was a rocket scientist for NASA, it was everything in between. Um, but God had gotten them right where they needed to, to be. Summer. And I was like, okay, then whatever my path is, um, I trusted in God, I followed along, and now I know where I'm, that I am where I'm supposed to be. So seniors, I, um, I hope that as you leave Lancaster Catholic, you, one, will be able to find that safety net, build that safety net. Know that us here at Lancaster Catholic can be a part of that safety net if you let us. And two, listen to God's direction. You know, allow him to guide you and like give him control. Be like, okay, God, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, so tell me if I'm supposed to be doing this or not, because um, I think that's much needed. And it's been awesome. I'm so glad to be with you guys it's for my first year and my first class of seniors that I'm sending off. It's kind of weird as a priest because normally you're in a parish and your parishioners there are there their whole lives oftentimes, but here a big chunk of my flock is just heading off into who knows where. <laughs> um, the so, unknown. so I'll really miss you guys. Um, it's been awesome to get to know you, um, but know that while you're heading off, um, we're still praying for you. 
uh, and you're still part of the, the bigger flock of God's family, so. Yeah, class of 2023, um, we're gonna miss you a lot here. Uh, it was a blast to have you during your four years at Lancaster Catholic. Even though I think we went through some struggles with COVID and trying to figure that out, thanks for being some of our guinea pigs. And But yeah, we're gonna miss you. You guys have a fun energy that you guys just wanna have a blast and party wherever, which is really great, sometimes distracting, but really great. So, so glad you're able to be here. We will miss you so much. Uh, like Father Logue said, know that we are praying for you. If you ever need anything, please feel free to reach out to us, um, whether that's us in campus ministry, us at Lancaster Catholic in a whole, your teachers that you were really close with, anybody, we are always here for you. And come back to visit. Yes, come back to visit. Come back and see us. We'd love to see you. So thank you. Thank you for your four years here. Um, we wish you the best of luck, and hopefully we will see you again. Congratulations. Oh yeah, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you can't come in every episode. <laughs>